Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself and your experience? Throughout your working life, you'll need to network. When you're starting out, it's a key way of finding information and getting advice. And also, networking is the art of getting known by people who work in the area you want to work in. We filmed eight students in an information interview. That doesn't mean asking for a job, but asking for information on the career you're interested in, advice on how to get started, and contacts you can follow up. What's more important to you? Is it the academic side or actually having relevant experience? How do I sell myself? over those guys who have got lots and lots of different experiences. How did you get started? What's it like working in the industry that you work, or you work in at the moment? How do I break into this industry How and make you get it a in success? There? What would you say the challenges and setbacks are to a person trying to get involved in PR? What kind of experience would you say that you would need before going into a social work course? How did you start your career in fashion? Well, I we're keen to encourage people to information interview. An information interview is where you ask for 20 minutes um, to go and talk to someone about a career area. You go along with, um, with some questions to ask them. What's a good day? What's a bad day? Um, why did you get into the job? Quite often, that's a good starter for 10. If you can't get a placement, just see if somebody within the organisation, um, doesn't matter how junior or how senior, would be willing to spare 15 minutes and, you know, offer to buy them a Starbucks and, and pick their brains for a quarter of an hour because, you know, you're not taking up too much time and, and you know, um, people don't usually mind talking about themselves for 15 or 20 minutes, do they? What do employers think about people asking them about their work in this way? I quite like it, actually. When somebody's a bit interested in what you do, uh, it makes you feel a bit more appreciated because I'm very interested in my job and I love my job. Um, so I like somebody that's interested in it and I can sort of, you know, tell them all the things that we do that's really good and all the pressures that, you know, that we, we are against as well. Speaking from my personal experience, I think, well, I was in her position a couple of years back, five years <laughs> back. Um, so I'm more than happy to go out of my way and help her, provide her with information. I usually say, send me an email with all the questions that you want answering, and that's a good starting point. And then some of them will say, oh, I'd like to come and have a look round, and it'd be nice to ask you some questions face to face. And if I can accommodate that from a time point of view, I will try to. Do your research first, and then approach somebody, but, but already knowing some of the background information, um, but wanting to know more. If you approach them in the right way, most people are happy to give advice if you show an interest in entering their profession. What do you think I should be doing to make my application stronger? I think you need to look at perhaps some formal journalism qualifications. He gave me some good advice, which I've taken on. He told me that I shouldn't just stick with magazine journalism, that I should try newspaper and all these other things, which I haven't really done before. I've just kind of thought I want to do magazine. This is about just starting to build um, the right sort of connections that might be useful um, you know, to your chosen career at the very start of your career. And possibly through one of those connections you might hear of an opportunity or somebody that you, you met at an event might remember you when they hear that somebody else is looking for an opportunity. Um, it might just mean that they remember who you are and open your email or the CV that you send a week later to say, we had a really interesting conversation about whatever it was. Um, hope you don't mind, but I'm, you know, I'm looking for a job. Keep me on file, keep me, on, keep me in mind. There used to be a saying that it's not what you know, but who you know. I would add to that and say it's important who knows you. It's an activity that happens day to day in business environments. And if you're presenting a professional, friendly, warm approach uh, and asking the right kind of questions, it's learn more information, understand who they know, understand the processes of their recruitment policies, um, get yourself known to them, get yourself visible. If we see a good CV from somebody um, that's, you know, gone the extra mile and actually you think, no, that, that's a really good CV, we might not have a job at the moment. Uh, but we'll usually try and invite somebody in um, to just have a cup of coffee and a chat for half an hour. If that's somebody that I think, I, you know, I, I think there's some promise there, they're probably going to end up, you know, they will get a job in PR, you know, that's in my interest then to know the good people who are coming in to the 
the industry in Cardiff. Where do you start? That's often the question. And, and I say to students, think about friends and family. In order to, to build a network, often the, the, the best place to start is closest to home. You, you're, we're surrounded by contacts and possible leads. People think immediately of, of having to turn up at big corporate events on your own and walk into a room full of sort of 400 you know, sort of scary suits and, and try and find a way to introduce yourself and all that sort of thing. But I think what we're talking about is actually um, working out how you can build some of those connections that will help you to make introductions with people who might be able to help you then find a job. So, obvious place to start within the university, career service will obviously have links with businesses, um, the business school probably has links, so immediately without even having got off campus, you can start to build up that network. University alumni um, departments are fantastic for this. So if you found someone who's graduated from your university a year before, a couple of years before, they're fantastic um, points of information that, that you, you can go and speak to and say, can I, can I take you for a coffee for 20 minutes just to find out what, what you did upon graduation? And again, you'll be surprised at how friendly people generally are. As long as you keep to the rules, you're polite and courteous and don't exceed 20 minutes. You're not asking somebody for a job, you're asking um, people for, uh, to give you a good understanding of, of what it is to, to work for that organisation and that, you know, that kind of role to, to allow you to gain more knowledge about the business. Make sure that you're looking at gaining more information and knowledge from them. You're not trying to sell them anything necessarily. You're trying to pass on to them your, your information, get yourself in, in their thought processes. So it's a case of not asking for a job. But if, they, if you ask them potentially, do you know the recruitment process that your organisation uses or who's the best person to speak to about recruitment, then they're more likely to, to seek that out and, or maybe even know it to, to feed it straight back into you and you've learnt that next step of information that you can go on and develop further. This isn't about just finding the first job, this is about building a network that you will go on building through the, the whole of your career. So this isn't about um, you know, walking into a room with a, a sheaf of CVs under your arm and, and trying to buttonhole everybody and, and you know, get a job, get a job, get a job. It's a good idea to go along with a list of questions. Lee, a recent fashion graduate, spoke to John Moore, a haute couturier. Did he think she made good use of the opportunity to talk to someone in the business? She had a golden opportunity there to fire questions at me. She could have asked me a thousand and one questions had she wanted to, um, but she didn't have a lot of questions. I think maybe if I'd been in her position, I might have had a few questions jotted down on a piece of paper that I want to ask, because it's so easy to forget questions when you're suddenly confronted with someone. I know it's a, it's a scary situation and it can be very daunting. Your final question should be, who should I now go and speak to? Uh, and once, once someone's suggested a name for you to go and talk to, you can then use that by saying, X has told me to come and have a chat with you. Very quickly you'll find you're ac you, you've got access to a certain network uh, and you can use that network to give you information about jobs or opportunities. To sum up, Networking is crucial in most career areas to get information and advice and to build up contacts in your chosen field. Start close to home with your family, friends, lecturers or graduates of your course. Your career service can help you get started. Suggest a short meeting or even start online. Go with a list of prepared questions. Come away with more names to contact. But you're not asking for a job.